Hi everyone, it's Miss Perry and Bunga again. Nice to see you all. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at matching multiplication expressions to pictures and thinking about why those multiplication expressions and pictures match. But to start with, we're going to go through the practice activity from the previous lesson. If you remember, I asked you to make your own pair cards and on one card, write a multiplication expression and on another card, draw a matching picture. I hope you had fun. Bongo and I certainly did, although Bongo was much better at snap than me. Have a look at this picture. What can you see? Pause the video whilst you explain what the picture shows. Bongo says that he can see five groups. Do you agree with him? We can see that we have circled our groups. And yes, he's right, there are five groups. He also says that there are three cupcakes in each group, so this means that there are five threes. What do you think? We've got one three, two threes, three threes, four threes, five threes. Well done, Bongo, you are correct. There are five threes. And remember, we can write this as five times three. Pause the video and explain to somebody at home what each number in the multiplication expression represents. Bongo says that the five represents the number of groups. Well done, Bongo. And the three represents the number of cupcakes in each group. Let's have a look at this picture and this multiplication expression. What can you see in the picture? Bongo says that he can see two fours. Do you agree with him? Let's have a look. We've got one four, two fours. And we can represent that with a multiplication expression, two times four. What does each number in the multiplication expression represent? Can you tell someone at home? What does the two represent? That's right, Bongo, the two represents the number of groups. Bongo thinks that the four represents the number of apples in each group. Is he correct? He is. Well done, Bongo. Have a look at this picture. What can you see? There are two multiplication expressions, but only one of those multiplication expressions matches the picture. Which one do you think it is? Pause the video whilst you have a think and remember to explain why you think that multiplication expression matches the picture. Bongo and I are going to have a look too. Have you had a go? Let's look together. Bongo and I think that we can see two nests. Do you agree with us? And there are five eggs in each nest. So we can say that there are two groups of five. Or we can say there are two fives. So which multiplication expression represents two fives? We thought it was two times five. Let's see if we're right. We're correct. Well done, Bongo. We know that two times five represents the picture because the two represents the number of nests and the five represents the number of eggs in each nest. It can't be five times five because we've only got two groups of five. Can you think about what a picture would look like to represent five times five? That's right, we'd have to have five nests with five eggs in each nest. Have a look at this picture. We've got some equal groups of butterflies. I'm going to read the stem sentences to describe the picture and I wonder if you can repeat them after me. There are four groups of three. There are four threes. I would like you to write down the multiplication expression that matches this picture. Remember to write your multiplication symbol correctly. correctly. Bongo is going to have a go too. Pause the video and then come back to us when you've had a go. This is what Bongo's written. Four times three. Is he correct? Does it look like the multiplication expression that you've written? Let's think about whether Bongo's correct or not. The four represents the number of groups, and we know that there are four groups. The three represents the number of butterflies that are in each group, 
and there are three butterflies in each group. Well done, Bongo. So the multiplication expression four times three represents this picture. Have a look at this picture. What can you see? Can you fill in the stem sentences so that they represent the picture? What numbers will you put in the gaps and where can you see those numbers in the picture? Bongo and I are going to have a go too, so pause the video whilst you have a think. Have you had a go? Have a look at what Bongo and I think and see if you agree or disagree. We think that there are six groups of two. Or we can say there are six twos. Do you agree or disagree with how we've filled in the stem sentences? Do our stem sentences represent the picture that we can see? They do, don't they? Because we've got one two, two twos, three twos, four twos, five twos, six twos, or six groups of two. How would we write a multiplication expression to represent this picture? Can you have a go? This is the multiplication expression that Bongo and I have written. We've written six times two. We're correct, aren't we? Because the six represents the number of desks or the number of groups. And the two represents the number of children sitting behind each desk. Did you get the same multiplication expression? Well done. We're going to look at a true or false question now. Bongo is very excited, he enjoys doing these. Let's have a look at the picture. What can you see? Can you explain to somebody at home what you can see? Now let's have a look at the multiplication expression. It says one times six. Does that multiplication expression represent the picture? Is it true or false? See if you can explain to somebody at home what you think. You could use the stem sentences to help you. You might have thought that it was true that we've got one group of six, but did you look closely at what the coins are in the purse? Bongo did. They're five pence coins, aren't they? So we've got each coin represents five one pennies. So we can say that there are six groups of five. We've got one five, two fives, three fives, four fives, five fives, six fives. There are six fives. Now that we know this, can you represent this picture with a multiplication expression? Let's have a look at what you've done. This is what Bongo wrote. Six times five. Do you agree with him? He's correct, isn't he? Well done, Bongo. Because the six represents the number of five penny coins. And the five represents the number of one penny coins in each five pence. Look, Bongo, it's number block four again. Have a look at the number block four picture. Can you write an expression to match this picture? This is one that I've done. Do you agree or disagree with the multiplication expression that I've written? Pause the video and explain to somebody at home. I use the stem sentence to help me write my multiplication expression. I know that there are three fours. Now I did have to think about it a little bit because the first number block does look different to the others. But I still know that he's made up of four blocks, so he is still a group of four. So we've got one four, two fours, three fours. And we write that as three times four. The three represents the number of number blocks, and the four represents the number of block blocks that each number block has. I'd like you to represent this multiplication expression using some objects from around your house. You could use the same objects that you used in the previous lesson. Let's have a look at the multiplication expression first together. It says three times two. Can you use your objects to represent this expression? Bongo and I are going to have a go too, so pause the video whilst you have a think and then come back to us. This is what Bongo and I have used. We've used some pasta. Let's have a look and see if we've represented the multiplication expression correctly. 
Remember, our multiplication expression was three times two. What do you notice about our groups? You can see that they're equal. There are two pieces of pasta in each group. We've got one two, two twos, three twos, or three groups of two. And we use the multiplication expression three times two to represent this. The three represents the number of groups and the two represents the number of pieces of pasta in each group. I wonder if your objects look similar to Bongo and I's. Can you draw a picture to represent this multiplication expression? It says four times three. Pause the video whilst you draw your picture. Remember to explain to somebody at home how you know your picture represents the multiplication expression. Bongo and I are going to have a go too. Have you had a go? Have a look at what Bongo and I have done. We've got one group of three, two groups of three, three groups of three, four groups of three, five groups of three. What's the matter, Bongo? There's something wrong. Well, let's have a look at our multiplication expression and see what we've done wrong. The four in our multiplication expression represents the number of groups. So we only need to have four groups. That's our mistake, Bongo. That's better. So we've got four groups and the three represents the number of objects in each group. So we need to have four groups of three or four threes. Let's see if we've got that now. One three, two threes, three threes, four threes. That's better, Bongo. Now our picture represents the multiplication expression. Does your picture represent the multiplication expression too? Well done if it does. Bongo's got some sweets and he wants to share them with his friends. What a kind thing to do, Bongo. He says that there are three groups of four. Is he correct? Have a look at Bongo's sweets and explain to somebody at home whether you think Bongo is correct or not. Have you had a look? Let's have a look together. We can see that Bongo has got three groups. One group, two groups, three groups. How many sweets are in each group? We've got four sweets in this group. We've got, oh, we've got five sweets in this group and four sweets in this group. So what's wrong? The groups are not equal. Oh no, Bongo, we're not going to be able to write a multiplication expression to represent this picture, are we? I wonder what we can do so that we're able to write a multiplication expression and so that our groups are equal. I know, we can get rid of one of the sweets in this group. That's better. Now our groups are equal. There are four sweets in each group and we've got three groups. So we can write our multiplication expression. Could you have a go at writing a multiplication expression? Pause the video whilst you have a go and then come back to us once you've written it. Have you written your multiplication expression? We have. We've got three times four. What does each number in our multiplication expression represent? The three represents the number of groups and the four represents the number of sweets in each group. Thank you for helping Bongo to share his sweets out equally. His friends will be really happy now, won't they? We've got a practice activity for you now. You can see that there is an array of counters. I would like you to have a think about whether this array shows three times four or four times three. You might want to circle the counters into equal groups to help you to see which expression the array represents. It might represent both expressions. If you're ready for a challenge, this is it. It says, can you use this array to write any other multiplication expressions? So can you circle the counters in as many different ways as possible and write the multiplication expression to match the picture that you've drawn? We hope you have fun. Bye.